here this minute. That water is bad for you. Tar, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. Let him go! Tar! Hello, welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Um, so all of that just happened. Um, Tor is now gone. And she was saying something about Cynthia. And I think she was referring to the old lady that we kept seeing. Uh, I'm going to take a look up here real quick. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I'm glad that we just did that, because I would not have found that paper otherwise. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that, see what it says. Odin loses an eye. I believe it's the one that we just found, so let's go. Ahead. Yeah. It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even, or changing the perspective. Raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Okay, so Tor said we'll help, we help you and you stay away from our family to the darkness. Yes, until you all come to me, came an answer. Okay. Hmm. So he was trying to protect his family, I assume. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to What's Her Nuts over here because she's got some splaining to do. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. Yeah, family show. Come on, Sokka. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Cause she a big liar. Y'all thought I was gonna say something different, didn't you? Mm hmm. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Eww. So that's Rose. That's the same girl from before. I think she was in Watery, maybe? I think. I don't know. Anyway. Cynthia Weaver. So this is the woman that she was talking about. And I believe the old lady that we might have seen in the nursing home before we got scared last episode. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? The lamp lady? Is Cynthia the lamp lady? Rose. Um. 
Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> you are the hero! You are here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torengail in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. She's a strange one. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh, no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Okay. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, Lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. So she's been, or Alan's been talking to her as well, probably to try to take care of Tor and Odin. And obviously to give us information because, you know, we are the hero, apparently. So. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh. This kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm. Guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Okay, so she's been leaving them around. Okay. All right. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple <laughs> stuff. The tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. <laughs> I mean, at least you hide the bodies. I just leave them laying around because I just don't care. All right, let's take a look over here. So we've got some profiling. So some stuff for Odin. Um, the record. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. 
plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Okay. I kind of figured that's where the record would be. So manuscript pages, we have... Oh, we can go to unread. I forgot about that. Saga opens the Valhalla nursing home overlap. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed, expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor, a way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Hmm. Okay. So we got television. Okay, so that's just all of the uh, Costco's ads there. We've already watched all those. Radio. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got some stuff for the case board, yes. Okay, so what was that? Okay, CCT footage. Okay, so we found that. Um, into the pond. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Okay. It has to be. How do I get inside? Uh, I've been asking myself that for a long time. Um, okay. Cynthia and Tor. Uh, Tor followed Cynthia because Cynthia was confusing him, messing with his head. Um, why is Cynthia going... To such trouble to get Tor out of the picture. Saga Jeb the Selector. Okay, so the overlap ritual is going to be the record. Um, need to play the record to open the overlap into the ritual. I should talk to Odin. Okay, wake told Rose to look for the hero if she won't. No? Okay. The page says the record will open the overlap. Okay. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Ooh, that's a, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, like you're playing into the story because the story's been written. You're just going along with it instead of finding your own way, maybe? I don't know. That's it's pretty good. There's only one copy of the record. Okay, yeah, Nursing Old Museum. Okay. And Oh, gosh, we got a bunch of stuff over here. Okay. Um, Mom moved away with me because of Tor. Tor wanted to apologize but never got the chance. Um... There we go. From the few things mom said, this is actually plausible. Is it really true? What did Tor do to make mom leave? I mean, he's got the vision, the the sight stuff, right? So he probably knew what was going to happen, right? Okay, so Rosemary Gold. Not a cult member, okay. These guys are definitely cult members, okay. Well, they're like the leaders of the cult or running the cult. Yep. Um, email about recruiting Tor and Odin to the cult. Looks like the cult is leaning heavily on Blum to recruit, recruit Tor and Odin. Cult invitation. Um, probably here? Nope. No? Well, it's not going to be there. Um, who's involved? Oh, okay. So is it going to open up another thing for, yeah, Vladimir Blum. Okay, cool. Uh, email pressuring Blum to recruit, recruit cult members. Working in the nursing home, Blum would be well positioned to recruit the Andersons. Okay, the story. Okay. Those are for later. I like Stacy lunchboxes. We never put this one up. Oh, who left these? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we just found that out. So we know who left them. Marigold left these lunchboxes for me. Okay. Alan Wake apparently told her to. I so, uh, it's Rose that left the lunch boxes. Guess it's fine that I've been look looting them, seeing as I'm, how I'm the hero. Okay. Have you just been staring at me the whole time? You're so creepy. Such a creep. Okay. Well, so we're gonna need to get back inside. But oh, the, it's open. Glad we don't have to go clear back through everything. Okay, so there were some 
Who was that? There were some doors that were locked. Uh, that right there is where all of Alan Wake's stuff was. So there is... Ooh, Ati's there. There's one. That's where the record's going to be. Then we got Gail, Cynthia. Um, and then we've got this locked door there, too. Let's go ahead and just head upstairs. I'm not going to get the record yet. I don't want to start that whole thing. I'm going to look around beforehand. Also, this TV here. Hello? Nothing there. Okay. Okay, so somebody was up here. Hello? No? Oh, they walked out. They walked outside? Artie said we'd be Oh. Emergency muster point. What's up? <laughs> Let's talk to you. I've never talked to you before. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. <laughs> Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh no, Mandy May. Jeez. Oh no. Oh, don't be a cry, I didn't baby. didn't realize that. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. This monster of a blanket. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. Okay. Nothing else. You sure you don't want something for that? I mean... Why are we out here again? Oh, shut up. said we'd be safe on the porch. Safe okay. from what? I bet Tor is having one of his drum. She's going to just ruin that blanket. That monster of a blanket that she's... Oh. The page. I almost missed that. Okay. I'm hearing... I'm hearing him kind of... Wait. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed... His vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young, too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Okay. So he wasn't her grandfather. He was the all-father. I'm coming. Wrong room. Sorry. Had to make a detour. What? 
Can I, I can't help him? Okay. I can't do anything. We've already read this here, unless this is different. No. Where did I put the eye? Okay, so I... Sea of Night. Because so, in that one thing, he like lost his eye. But it was the wrong eye. It was the eye that actually worked. Okay, the music just changed a bit. Ati? Alright, I'll be right back, Ati. Okay. Really sounded like there was something going on in there. Hey, buddy. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? He's probably my favorite yes, character. Yes. <laughs> he who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. <laughs> How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom liked to talk. Okay, so Bloom just liked to talk. Now you're just gonna go back to being sad. I like Hati though. He, like he's probably my favorite so far. Okay, I don't need that. Um, I'm gonna leave your trauma pad here, buddy, just in case you suffer any trauma. Okay. Let's see what we got in Gale's room. There's another manuscript page. Building the Valhalla nursing home. Okay, is there anything else in here? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, let's take a look at this. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks' care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leak started appearing. Yeah, that sounds like some contractors that I've heard of. <laughs> so Wheeler is the guy that was helping out Alice as well. Um, so I think. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has caught. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. You can go to the... You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Cool. Well, I am... Key fob's no good without power. Of course. How do we even get to the basement? Basement... I could go through the dining room to get to the basement, I think. Wait. Is this not... Wait, what? Yeah, basement. Oh, do I have to do it from outside? <laughs> Mana. I gotta go around. Oh gosh. Okay. Sit down. 
Miss me. Sit down, boy. Get back up, I dare ya. Okay. Okay, so there were two of them. Okay. It looked like they just, it was like a, they kind of split off into two while they were going really fast, but there were actually two of them. Okay, so there's water on the floor down here, which isn't good. There's somebody dead down here. That's probably what that smell is. God, don't like that at all. Shit. Thank you. I need to get the power back on. Who is that? I don't recognize him. Okay. Can I get through here? Fob's no good without power. Oh. I'm freaking key fob on that. Come on now. Come on, man. Can I get through that? Oh, it's no wonder there's no power. I mean, holy crap. Remember, to buy, buy more fuses, many more crappy old equipment. Oh, many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. VB. Okay. So we're probably going to have to find a fuse. That would be my guess. Okay. Very struggles with artists. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Hmm. I mean, they are pretty stinking old. So, makes sense, I guess. Okay, so right here's that. We're probably gonna have to find a fuse. Fuse is blown. Yep. Maybe there are uh, spares nearby. What was that? Whatever it was, I don't like it. Can't be opened on this side. Okay. Nothing in there. I really didn't do that, but okay. So the door's locked. Okay, there's something here. Another manuscript page. Damn. Okay. Emmett Taken. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Emmett Elwood. Forget who that is, to be honest. Okay, let's come through here. I assume that we need to go through here. Oh, to get into this room. Okay. What's that noise? I mean, I know what the noise is, but why is it making that noise? Okay, what do we have here? House of Zane. Renowned filmmaker establishes artist commune in Bright 
Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Sign in Finland, and his partner Barbara Jagger, born Baba Jak Jakala in Finland, have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Crap. Mr. Zane had purchased an old manor outside town, and the couple has already settled in. In his home, the international and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected auteur filmmaker. A rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Igmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature called Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel. Ocean View Hotel. Okay. We've been there. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if it, they became a reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same. Seeing Zane as a person worth revering even to a faintly cult-like degree, a person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. <laughs> okay. It's okay, as long as you're helping us out. Okay, so we need to find a code for that. I wonder where that would be. Ooh, what's this? The power's off. Oh, well, duh. Duh, Saga, you idiot. Another manuscript manager. These are all over the, the place down here. always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Gross. Okay. Oh, because this is how Cynthia got corrupted. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark, the light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed came out of bubbles okay so that's how she got taken okay or corrupted which i think is similar to being taken i don't know let's open this up oh, we've got an easy easy way out of there okay so we need to find there's a code for that box back there we also need to find the fuse the code is seven or 273 okay okay staying alive is the coolest fascist statement wear a life jacket okay anyway Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me, VB. Okay, so that's Bloom or Blum. 273. Nice. Okay. So we've got the fuse. We still didn't search all of this back here so let's go back and it just automatically takes us okay yeah, we never came clear back here I want to see if there's anything that we missed there's this here Rose spare fuse is now locked away because someone Ati keeps stealing them code is in the laundry room okay so that just tells us where collector 
Protect your belongings. Stay safe. Okay. So, Ati's been stealing them for some reason. Okay, we'll take both of those. You know, I like Ati. He's a strange person. I enjoy it. Yeah, about that. There. Power's back on. Okay, I'm safe. I'm gonna dump some stuff off in the, the shoe box and then uh then we'll continue on. <laughs> okay. Let us go. Careful saga. Okay, what do we have in here? Toolbox. Nothing in it. First aid thing with that stuff in it that I don't need. Can I get into this cabinet? No. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked. This dude's going to come back to life, isn't he? We're safe for now, I think. I hope. Let's get back inside. Okay, Rose is gone. Wonder where she went. But she's out on the front porch finally. Taking care of the elderly. Oh, it wasn't. It's never too late. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in here. Okay. I want to look around here real quick. So this is the their museum. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Framed by the old gods of Asgard to memor memorialize the... To memorialize the only pressing of the unreleased single, Anger's Remorse. Anger's Remorse. This is the one. But it's, hey, but it's not Cynthia there. Has the record. Okay. She will tell me where to find it. She better. Trash hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the old gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. The rock and rock and roll group. Old gods of Asgard are leaving chaos in their wakes as they plow through the major U.S. cities on their aptly named Ragnarok tour. The band is breaking their sales records with singles topping the charts and had their latest sold-out concert in Long Beach, California. The fans showed their love for their reckless rockers by showering the stage with lacy unmentionables, black roses, and even full beer bottles. None of this phased the stars themselves who embraced the admiration and transitioned from song to song with such gusto that the audience was left catching their breath, eager to keep up with the brothers Anderson and their cohorts. After hours, shenanigans for the musicians included a pool in a private residential neighborhood left to be emptied and sanitized in a hotel room nearly destroyed in a classical fashion, not to mention the lengthy room service bill gone unpaid. All things pointed to this band being coming quickly becoming a stronger contender strong contender to the iconic hall of fame rock groups that came before them old gods of asgard party like their nick namesake and give a performance like no other be sure to catch them on their tour and bear witness to rock history in the making sound like crazy people old gods of asgard band member dead the legendary heavy rock band old gods of asgard mourns the loss of their divinely talented guitarist bob balder Fat Bob, as he was affectionately and ironically called, died from complications of severe illness, leaving his bandmate Odin and Tor Anderson behind. The peace-loving musician will be sorely missed, also by the band's numerous fans. When asked about his loss, Tor Anderson had this to say, Get the expletive out of my face. Baldur's in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Bob was too beautiful a soul for this world, added Odin. What this means for the band and their upcoming album remains to be seen. 
Rock music is the ancient language of the soul, muses Old Gods of Asgard's lead singer. I sit down or I sit down with the Anderson brothers of Old Gods of Asgard fame in the lobby of a rundown hotel somewhere in downtown Detroit. Currently on the Ragnarok hit tour, the busy band members have only a moment to spare a fledgling journalist and his questions before running off to the sound check for their concert tonight. Question, how has the reception been? Tour, amazing. The fans understand what we're about. They get rock and roll. They get the spirit. They know we're not here to be censored around. Odin, that's censored right. Question, why do you do what you do? Tour, raucous laughter. I can tell you, you're new at this, buddy. Why does anyone do what they do? For the glory and the fame. Or for the glory and the fame? For the money and the sex? Or because you have something inside of you that's going to blank burst out if you don't start using it? Odin, it's the latter. Question. Well, that's good news. How about music then? What is it about music that compels you? Tour. That should be pretty blank. Leap. Obvious. This is boring me to death, bro. Let's get moving. Oh, I'm sorry. He's always impatient. Oh my gosh. As I stand up to leave for the tour bus waiting outside, the larger than life rockers turn around for one final quote. Tour. Music, especially rock and roll, is the ancient language of the soul. Man, it's in me. It's godly. It'll come out like a blank thunderstorm. Cool. Okay. All right, so... Will you shut up? Stop breaking stuff. What to from creepy to annoying like in 30 seconds. Yo, your room's a mess. Was Cynthia into civil engineering? Doubt. Take a look at here because there's a manuscript picture. Oops, didn't mean to punch everything. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Okay. Let's take a look over here. There are, it looks like there's some stuff here. The story. These are all for later. Uh, Anderson Brothers. Okay. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow tour. Anything for Tom? That's not right. Nope. Oh, there we go. Cynthia's all doing all of this for Tom. Another one of the Dark Presence uh, masks. Records missing from the museum. Okay. Missing record is one of a kind. The rest are all popular releases. Okay, then we've got the manuscript page. Cynthia and Tom. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. Into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor. Always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. So Tom is Thomas Zane. The guy who did Nightless Night. The guy who Alan shot in the face. Okay. Tor Anderson. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. 
Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Okay. That makes sense. So, if Tom, Thomas Zane, is what took her into the darkness or whatever, turning her, and has that power to do so, and she's keeping Saga from talking to Tor, Thomas Zane is Scratch, right? That's Scratch. That, I mean, it makes the most sense to me. So, okay, Anger's Remorse. Where is Anger's Remorse now? She is a young girl in love. A broken roll tweets it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Let's pull it out of her butt. Anger's Remorse, where is it? Anger's Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Okay. Um, Odin. So there's still something here. Anger's remorse. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Okay, so we were supposed to, like, you know, do that one beforehand, but that's okay. Uh, Cynthia wanted the record. Okay, so the record. Boop. Nope. There we go. Yep. And. Yep. Okay. The record. Yeah. Let's get these up there. A bathtub. A pond. A lake. There's a theme here. So we already know all that stuff. Okay. Let's go. So it's going to be in there, but I want to look around here real quick before we actually grab that, just in case there's some kind of crazy cutscene. Um, okay. A power station. Power station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did Prob she know about the dark presence? Probably. I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. So that's Zane, Thomas Zane. Okay. Which is just Alan without a beard, but hey, you know, who's really keeping track of that other than me? Okay. The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Okay. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep it up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. Brick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? I love lamp. Do you really love the lamp, or are you just saying it because you saw it? I love lamp. It had disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There is no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There is no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of this room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. 
Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It wasn't his after all. The shadows are moving? Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I forever. Is she crazy? I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. But it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment. Supposedly also Tom's. What's happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. So that also that kind of just plays into the whole, like, everything changes. Um, so, like, her reality, he was a poet. But he was also a um, filmmaker. Thomas Zane. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. I don't think so. I think Tom is Scratch. But that is just me. Come on. There we go. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Okay. Jerk. Okay. We get it. Can I get in here? Can I talk to you? Do you have anything else to say to me? No? Okay, well, I'm going to check this room out if I'm able to. No? Damn. Okay. Down to the jukebox we go. What the heck? Okay. Jerk. So this is a song he wrote for this us. Song will show me the way. Look in the mirror. The cobweb of my soul. Of my face forever. Seeking to be whole. Driven by passion. Okay, that was really cool. I really liked how it, once you walked outside, it, the music went from playing on the jukebox to just playing. That that was I I really like that. <laughs> that was such a cool like just feeling, like hearing that. Okay. So we've only got a couple of shotgun shells left. Um, guess we'll take that just in case we need these. Okay. Bright Falls record. The body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. That's what he was talking about on the radio, right? It was a bunker. A local girl, Nora Hesberg, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last week was discovered dead in the unsealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. Cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of local use at the bunker. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home from the night before. The police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. Okay. Gone too soon. So this is where she died then. So it was drowning though, but I know there's a bunch of stuff about water, but there's no, not a lot of water. It's not enough to drown in, unless you're drunk and fall face first into something like this. Mommy, what are you doing? Help me, please. Is 
This isn't real. Mom. this place language but I I agree beware the drowned lady I don't know which way to go what okay Why is this just the same thing over and over again? Okay. I don't like... Okay. So this closed. That closed. That's what that noise was then. All these doors closing. So is this whole newspaper thing about the girl drowning down here like supposed to be tied to the fact that in this reality Saga's daughter drowned? I don't know. this the hero that's me now chungus okay so we gotta start this generator let that enter let's see that So the generator's on. Was there something? Yeah, there's something here. No more trauma pads. That's, that's cool. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? Oh, that's right, because she hasn't experienced that before. That's an Allen thing. No, I don't want the trauma pads. Ugh. I'm gonna use this one, you know, just to heal up our sliver of health, I guess. And to save some space in our inventory. Okay. Yeah, because in Alan's part of the story, it's where we've been changing the scenery with the lights the only way. but I don't think that we've done that with Saga yet okay so now we're in a loop okay yeah that's uh same thing that we just read Ocean View Hotel and Spa. That's the uh, it's a loop. hotel. Like the others. What are we talking I need about? To reach the center. Okay. You be quiet. Yeah. She's here. It's never too late. Dead end. Okay, well, what? I guess I just didn't, or I may have overlooked where to go. Wait. That changed. Oh, stop messing with my head, game. Okay, so this one doesn't say beware the drowned lady, so this must be the way to go. It's flickering. Almost like the wall doesn't exist. Okay, well now it says that. 
Oh, actually, a exit oh, back to what we just again. were. We go this way. This is completely different. Locked. The key has to be nearby. You would think so. Okay. So I wonder if the key is going to be around here, then we can do that again. And actually get into that. I don't even know what, what is in that, to be honest. Wait. Take those for sure. Okay, I don't want to do that yet. I guess that one needs a bolt cutter. I don't need that. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, Hmm. Interesting. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Tool cabinet key. Nice. Okay. So then we should be able to turn this one off. And then, <gasps> oh my gosh, finally, holy crap, episode 14, we finally have these things that we needed in episode one. Thank you, game. <laughs> Only took us like 15 hours, 16 hours to find those. I can see the lights through the... Oh, it's just a reflection. Okay. I thought it was a glitch and I could see whatever was below us. Okay. Then we gotta turn this one back off. Okay. So that's locked. I never even checked that before, but... What the hell? You're a big nurse. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, it's wanting me to go through there, but then there's also this. It's, there's a ladder. I can also come into here now. <laughs> so why are you so confusing right now? Okay, let's just check over here. Oh, sweet. Okay. Take those. Don't need that. Oh, this takes us around the circle. Okay. Okay, well, but, but why is this covered up here, though? Oh, I, I've got to see why. I can't just leave this. Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna go down this way. So I'm not sure why... It's given us the option to go backwards, or not given us the option. I know why it's given us the option, but like, why that's even there to begin with? Like, why it's why is it blocking us from going back that way? It's got to be significant. Okay, we're going back around in, in a loop again. Okay, the newspaper's gone. Rip Nora. Is that new? Something in this now? No. 
Okay. Back again. Gotta go deeper. So she said. Um, but deeper where? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Garbage. I don't need any of that. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Shit! Dark up. So damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. She's coming. She got me good. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly where I need to go to turn this power back on, but whenever I'm in the water for too long, she comes after us, so got to be careful. Okay, I assume it's going to be back there, because we came in through there. So I'm going to have to get back. I wonder if I can make it over here. Hurry up. I can't stay in the water. Yeah, I know. I don't even need to see what's there that's coming after us. I just know that that sound is bad. Made it over here, so we gotta come. Oh no. Which way do we go? There must be a way to get the power back on. Yeah, obviously. Shut up. I'm trying to figure that out. You're distracting me. Okay. I don't know if I can go right there or not. Yes, I can. Cool. Okay. Run, 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 run. I don't even know what that is. We just went in a circle. Okay, I saw something. Wasn't fun. Wasn't good. Okay. Shit. Oh, language. Come on. Trauma pads. Can I come up here? Discount? Hehehe! <laughs> Hehehe! Wrong! Wait. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on. Okay. Let's go get Tor. Okay, so we got to get back to the middle there. Okay. 
damn it. Where is she? Okay. It's fine. This is fine. Let's reload. There we go. Yeah, get wrecked. Where's your water now, you whore? I can't see a goddamn thing. Hello, Eden. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. It's very difficult to see whenever it's like this, but it's a really cool effect. These things seem kind of like... Oh gosh, no! You Well, that sucked. Okay. Ow. I'm gonna die. I have not died in this game yet. And this is gonna be the first time. Change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? 
You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor! Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, you took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Tears at night as I hear the storm howling, losing my child, taken by the tide. No 